What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be having a look at a mod from the mean ones. This is the Performance Plus mod. Right, so before we actually get started and get into the game and have a look, this removes unnecessary world decorations. It removes all the cinder blocks, the ember piles, the ruined bricks, the candy tin mines, the hubcap mines, gore piles, random loot helpers, sidewalk debris, tires and much more. It doesn't remove any functionality out of the game, just removes all of the clutter that you see just laying around. Um, it um, heavily reduces trees and tall grass spawns, um, especially large trees and forest overgrowth that tanks performance. Um, forge and chemistry station visual effects have been removed for smoother base performance. Um, clean up on road overlays, so disables decals and rubble found in asphalt country roads and gravel paths no need for dirty roadways with clutter so that's the write-up on it now i'm in spawned in straight away i'm not shy of 100 fps which is pretty damn good for me i normally get 70 ish so that has already made a difference as you can see the world doesn't, it doesn't look normal, but it's not supposed to. This is for all of those people out there that have a low-end PC that want to play seven days. The only kind of downside or drawback I can see is, obviously you've got to look harder for the grass. I already use the less grass mod anyway. Um, but you've got to look a bit harder and a little bit deeper for the the main grass to start you off um, You don't plant fibers once you've got them. You're pretty much sorted for them anyway um, You've still got like the the bigger bushes like those ones over there. They still give you a little bit of plant fiber I believe hang on let me just a quick check No, they only give you wood. I thought they give you some plant fibers as well um, but you've got um, where I saw that these these little ones here those are your plant fibers those are just wood um so yeah so like I said you do have to look a little bit harder um for your plant fiber but it makes makes finding everything else a damn sight easier so another little another little drawback that I feel is they've removed the gore piles so to get yourself a bone knife like I like to do straight off the bat if I can um, obviously take down a couple of gore piles with your with your stone axe and you've got enough bones so that's to me that's just a, a small drawback um, on um, on gameplay but you can find bones in normal trash anyway so but this is the this is the pine forest and uh, what I'm gonna quickly do is I'm gonna push Q just to give me God mode and I'm going to spawn in some zombie Arlene so let's go I'll tell you what we'll do that we'll do 25 and let's see how the FPS fares with a massive horde of Arlene's. You. Done. We're at 77. 75. 79. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Okay, so that didn't really drop, it definitely didn't drop below 60 FPS. For me, already, that's that's a bit of a win, to be, to be honest. But let's just have a quick run up here, just so you can see how the, um, how the world kind of spawns in. You know, you've still got everything laying about. I kind of 
feel like there's not quite so much loot on the ground, like loot bags and stuff like that. So that's another little drawback for me. You know, I haven't come across a, a satchel or or a sports bag or or a little pile of trash or anything. So there are minimal, minimal drawbacks to this mod, but if it gets people with a low-end PC to play it, it's got to be a win, right? Because you can still go around and loot in houses and stuff and get all of your, get all of your stuff that you need. But speaking of houses, let me just quickly go over and have a little look in a POI and see if there's any differences inside those as well. Right, so all of your boxes and stuff are still here. You know, you've still got all of the... Uh, uh, all of the uh, blocks and stuff for the POIs. Yeah, you see, there's still, they're still trash on the floor in POIs and stuff, so that's not... Uh, that's not too bad. I don't think... The, yeah. The POIs haven't really changed, so there's nothing different inside. There's still... There is still clutter lying about. So, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, you can still get your, your coal and stuff like that from, from the embers inside of, uh, inside of the POIs and bits and pieces. Yeah, nothing, nothing feels or seems different. So there you go. I mean, I will have, the FPS has been up all the time I was in that little house sort of running around and stuff. I think... For the Pine Forest, it's definitely a massive improvement to FPS. It's time to hit the wasteland. I've gone from one extreme to the next, you know? We've done the Pine Forest. That's the kind of the, the biome which is, is quite... I think it's a lot less on, on your PC. Um, wasteland, for me, anyway, has always been... It's always been the worst performance-wise. I'm already getting... I'm fluctuating, but I'm getting around about 100 FPS. Um, just sitting here. Which is pretty damn good, not going to lie. Hello, lady. Do you mind just uh, not being here? Would be great. So, yeah. So, there we go. 100 FPS. That is pretty damn good. Now, on the floor around here as well, there is... There is more chance of plant fibers over here in the wasteland, and there will be in other biomes as well. Not so much in the pine forest, which is a bit, you know, which is where you do sort of sort of start out. But, um, but there's nothing on the floor. There's no debris. I don't think. I think all the landmines are gone. So there's there's one threat that you don't have to worry about, and you can just you can just straight line it now from. Point A to point B, on on foot, on bike, on whatever, and there's nothing. In in a way, I kind of like that idea, but obviously, you know, on the flip side of that, you know, there's there isn't the 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 fear of uh, destroying your bike or whatever. But we're just wandering around in the wasteland. I'm gonna try and find. Um, I think down this way there was like a city, so if I can hop into there. If we go straight down uh, this way, and uh, let's go and see um, how it all plays out down here. So here we are. We're in like the middle of of a city. We've got some buildings kicking around us. You know, um, there's some skyscrapers over there, and 70 to 80 FPS in the wasteland is really. Oh, that's not good. Is really really good. I want to have a quick look inside a POI just to make sure that uh, that first one we went into wasn't just like a fluke and there wasn't anything different um, just in that one. Let's go into the let's go into here shall we. Right let's have a little quick look in this little passing gas and see what we've got. Keeping on the FPS we're still we're still we're holding sort of 60 ish 50 or 60. It's smooth though. 
it is smooth. I'll give it that. You still, you're going to drop a little bit in the POIs, I think, because they're still the same. You've still got the piles of stuff just kind of kicking about, you know. So I think you are going to suffer a little bit. But, um, but just normal stuff. Just lying around. It's definitely a hundred times better. So there we go, guys. That is just a little showcase of this mod. I, I only run a 3060, okay? And I do struggle. And I feel like a 3060 is a kind of a medium range um, GPU. So I'm hoping this video will help people realize that there are options out there if you enjoy playing the game. You know, yes, there are minimal drawbacks to, to using it, but I think just being able to play this game, I love this game. I have got thousands of hours in this game. I love it, and I want more people to be able to play it. So hopefully this mod will allow people to do that. The link to this mod will be in the description below. All right, so guys, if you have enjoyed this, drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know if you're gonna use it, if you wanna use it, if you think it's a great idea. I think it's a brilliant idea. Drop me that comment, all right? But more importantly, look out yourselves, take care of each other. See you in the next one.